Is it a goose and donkey love story? Find out next. Capecast. From the people who brought you dog and pig love story. A new chapter. It's goose and donkey love. Is it the way you walk that I adore? Was it the way you talked that I fell for? Whatever it was, I don't know. All I know is that I love you so. So Heidi, how did this goose and donkey love story evolve? Well, I decided I wanted to buy a donkey and I found one on Craigslist in Falmouth. So I told the people to make them feel okay about where the donkey was going to go. That I had a nice, you know, corral for him, lots of different animals, ducks, geese, turkeys, horses, pigs, etc. And they asked if I would take the goose also. So about three weeks ago, these two arrive. What happens? Are they palling around? Yeah, yeah, they were just inseparable. So you've got this goose and this donkey spending time together in ways you usually don't see. Maybe because they're the new kids in the barnyard. But it does look like some kind of love. How would you characterize it? It is completely not surprising in this household for various species to love each other because, like, there's enough love to go around this area. Can there be anything wrong with goose donkey love? Um, I don't think so. I think there's a lot worse out there. Heidi, are you worried that the goose and the donkey might reproduce? And make a goon key? Or a don coos? <laughs> Was it your lips that I fell for? Whatever it was, I don't know. All I know is that I love you so. Is it true that you too love the donkey? <laughs>